there. What up, people? Uh-oh, security guard's coming. He's about to see what it is. Hold on. Here, Here hold this. said that I'm tearing up the grass. The administration took pictures and uh, said that I'm tearing up the grass, being that their grass is so pristine and nice. And, you know, it's like a golf course. I mean, look. <laughs> Here.
What up, Nitro Nation? Muggy Maniac is back in the cave. Turn that down. Nothing like a little five finger death punch while you're wrenching. I don't know if I want to call them one of my favorite bands, but yeah, I guess they are one of my favorite um, of that type of music. But anyway, what up? Welcome all, Muggy Maniacs. Welcome all, Buggy Maniacs. Welcome all, Truggy Maniacs. And, uh, yeah, I guess, fifth, uh, Monster Trucks. I don't know if you want to consider this a Monster Truck, but kind of is. This is, I guess, can be a Monster Truck, but it's more hybrid. And welcome all fifth scale insane acts because the biggest thing that's insane about fifth scale is the prices. <laughs> Everything is not just bigger in size, but it's also bigger in price. Anyway, I don't know. Um, I tried this stuff for the first time. It just Mountain Dew has a lot of sugar, and I'm not. I'm, since I am diabetic, I'm not supposed to have a lot of sugar, but I found this one here, Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. By the way, we are, if you notice, the camera's different because we are actually trying something that I usually don't do. I usually don't do, as you guys know, videos um, with my GoPro, especially because my GoPro is like an antique, which we are going to be having, having a new one coming soon. Um, but I figured, you know what, since my... Uh, Samsung, this is a 5G, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I dropped it, and the uh, cameras, there's like, I there's four cameras in the back of this thing, it's a 5 gig, um, but it's, they got cracked in them, so when you guys seen like my last few videos that I've done with that, you can see that little glare in the corner, I think I mentioned it, um, so I figured, you know what? Until I, I think I can get that lens replaced, or I might just get a new phone. That phone's not that old, but, you know, um, if I can't fix the cameras um, on them, the glass on it, then I'll just get a new one. But anyway, um, we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get there. So, anyway... So what's going on? Well, first of all, Happy New Year to everybody, just in case if I don't see you guys on actually New Year Day. Uh, some of you know or don't know, there's a lot of bad weather going on in Southern California. It's been raining like cats and dogs, like pounding for the last almost two days. Definitely all day today. By the time you guys see this video, the weather's probably cleared up, but it's going to take about at least a couple days before the ground's not totally soaking wet so in the meantime we're gonna do some a little bit of wrenching um i'm gonna go over a couple these are a couple of little goodies that i got uh for christmas um i'm not gonna talk too much about tools maybe we'll do another video but kind of i mean the tools that i use um there's so many different types of tools but as far as a scale nitro in my opinion there's only one number one tool that's the snap-on of RC tools, and that's MIP. Yes, some people say there's other, you know, Huddies are good, and I have Protex, and, you know, but the pros all use these for a reason, because MIPs are, like I said, they're the snap-on of RC tools. So, are they the best? It depends who you ask, I think. And if they weren't, I don't think all the top uh, factory drivers would be using them. Pretty much every top 20 factory racer in nitro uses those now when it comes to fifth scale that's a whole different deal then you're going to be dealing with like i've got some i got this kit uh for christmas it's a dewalt uh one fourth uh ratchet driver set metric and standard so this will be i've got other small ones like this but this will be perfect for fifth scale i also acquired these uh makita all these makita bits and then I got these, which come in handy too. These are um, the Milwaukee Titanium. Um, they call them quad edge tips. I guess they stay um, sharper longer. Um, so these are come in handy as well. 
So, yeah, those are some of the goodies I got for Christmas. There's a lot of things going on. I get a lot of, uh, I have a lot of Nitro and Fisco friends on Messenger. Usually, or people will text me that have my number. Uh, so we're going to talk about what's going on as far as in the industry wise. Uh, most of it's been happening in Nitro, but there is some Fitscale scale stuff. Um, so we're going to go over that in this video. Probably be, as you guys know, another hour long video. Um, I really don't like doing hour long videos, but even though it always ends up that way and a lot of people like them, some people don't, I guess, like them. Some people just like some people like running videos. Some people rather watch wrenching videos i don't do a lot of wrenching as you guys know i mean i'm going to start doing a little bit more especially the way the weather's been i know a lot of people are like stuck inside they can't go you know rip their stuff because of the either back east the snow or the cold weather it's been freezing here raining like crazy but for southern california um it doesn't get as bad as it, i know it does back east um so i don't want to try to be all over the place in this video so last time i think we started with fifth skill so this time we'll start with nitro i have an unboxing here that i told you guys was going to happen um so special shout out uh to my brother from another mother um his name is gilbert monk his last name's weird monk like a you know like a priest or a monk um but his name's gilbert monk shout out to gilbert he hooked me up, so it's kind of like a like an early birthday present. My birthday will be coming up here in January. Um, some of you know when my birthday is, some of you don't. Um, it's not a big deal. Once you get a certain age, as you guys know, holidays, birthdays, yeah, just another occasion. It doesn't mean like it used to. Not that it's not, you know, birthdays not a big deal, but you know what I'm saying. But anyway, uh gilbert sent this to me he hooked me up like a tow truck i mean he even paid for the shipping this came from i guess i think he said he lives in michigan 46 bucks he, he paid for the shipping which was cool um as well so that's a new whip that we got i told you it's gonna get it's an a scale nitro i will tell you that um it's kind of going to be a surprise some people knew know what it is already those of you that i talked to periodically so others don't know what it is um let me get a sip of my oh my coffee's pretty dark we got the keurig here and we got some don francisco's blueberry bam so let me stir this up and uh well usually you can i don't i usually like drinking my coffee with creamer and sugar but this blueberry stuff's pretty good Shout out to my boy Gearhead Attic. He hooked me up with this Marine Diesel Ink MDI cup, coffee cup. I'm one of my Nitro brothers from another mother. A couple more shout outs. Shout out to um, the guys that I've been, like I said, that I talked to and that have been helping me out um, when I have questions. Um, big shout out to Mike Taylor. I've been talking to Mike Taylor. Um, we'll get into the fist sale stuff of what's going on um, as far as what I'm looking at in Fisco, but anyway, let's uh, let's open this thing up. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. First of all, before we open this up, <laughs> you guys are like, "Open it up, Muggy." I wanted to show you this. These are this is where, um, as far as what's going on in Nitro, I have I have a lot of people on Messenger. I hit up Rhonda because I heard that Mugen came out. I mean, I'm obviously behind. It came out with a, uh, um, this is Rhonda's, I have her on, her and Adam I have on Messenger. So every once in a while, if I have any questions, I'll ask Rhonda and she'll usually, um, respond. Um, not right away, but she usually gets back to me soon. So I hit her up, I said, hey Rhonda, I heard there's a new Mugen buggy out. And she sent, she said, hello Kurt, hope all is well. I told her and Adam, happy new year. Um, there is a new MBXR, I hope you guys can see this, MBXR, um, 8 scale nitro buggy. So I read up on this thing, I mean, they redeveloped the whole, pretty much, a, I don't know why they, they still call it an 8, um, I guess because there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, if you read this thing, you guys can pull it up on the web, um, <laughs> I like they said throughout 2021 Ryan Mayfield had all the major victories 
you won Dirt Nitro Challenge, Silver State, and Roar, which are probably the three biggest or off-road nitro events in the entire country. Okay, Roar obviously is the best in the United States. Mayfield dominated all three of those big events. Um, yes, some other guys won some other events, but those are... If you know anything about racing, I obviously I don't race, but I follow it, try to follow it. Um, nitro Jerk Challenge, Silver State, and Roar. Um, if it wasn't for COVID, there would have been more of the world's best there which will hopefully be this year um i'm probably going to end up going to the nitro dirt again so being that said all the development that they've been doing um they've changed a lot of the geometry more or less the engineering i mean it doesn't look when you look at it real different a, a lot different there is you can see some of the changes shock towers are different arms and one big thing that they said that the material now this is new i don't know if you guys can see that um the carbon fiber pieces on the rear uh hubs um but you can see the arms are redeveloped the chassis redeveloped they have a bitch and new clutch that is um i'm probably gonna end up as soon as i i don't I haven't really researched as far as the price and who's carrying it right now uh, but if I'm gonna probably end up getting this I don't need another buggy obviously I've got one two three four uh, five buggies um, I need another buggy like I need another whole if anything I need more truggies because I've only got two truggies a muggy and then the XTM um, so basically two tr race truggies but this clutch is adjustable it's very similar to the reds where you can adjust the spring tension um, it's new for me again which I thought was cool. But yeah, the plastics are, are stronger. Uh, you know, I mean, they re-engineered this whole thing. So it looks, and from what I read, looks pretty sick. So I think I'm going to have to add that to my stable. But anyway, I don't want to put the cart in front of the horse. So, you know, thank you, uh, Rhonda, for responding to me and hooking me up. And also, um, a guy that I talked to, his name's Joe Leonard. Shout out to Joe Leonard. He's probably going to be surprised. I don't talk to him a lot, but periodically we talk. He's the one that sent me the first info on it. Also, a couple guys um, let me know. A, one in particular, you guys know his channel. If you don't, go check it out. His name's Lucas Ireland, uh, a.k.a. Nitro Nation. Uh, he told me that they have, and I checked it out, and I hit up Lance about it. LRP is coming out with a brand new .32. First thing that comes to people's mind is, I hope they fix the porting, and I hope the carburetor. Yes, the porting is supposed to be cleaned up and better. The carburetor is, com is a different carburetor, so it's not the same carburetor. Those are two pluses, and the biggest thing, I think, it's going to be a turbo head. So again, the LRP 32, okay, we know the porting on these things were junk. Um really really rough and the carburetors are garbage the x tech some people you know say they're okay uh but i've i have two of these engines both of them modded by rcr shout out to lance we'll talk about that in, this, in a minute too what's going on with rcr renew um but these engines if they got a turbo head they it's a better carburetor hopefully they put the point 28 because the point 28 lrp carburetor is money dials in Perfectly. You guys have seen Woogie run his modified, which mine is on its way to Lance's to get modified. Um, so, if they got a new carburetor, turbo head, and the porting's better, this will be still the quality is Taiwan. Yes, yeah, still it's, in my opinion, cheap monkey metal, but those are pluses to draw on. Hopefully, the price isn't much more than it was. It's a very affordable engine. And it'll be even more affordable now because people won't have to worry about putting the carburetor on. You could, and worry about the porting issues. So you could actually keep it stock if you'd like, which they're, they're still powerful engines, but they're even more powerful modded. I know because I have both. Remember, I have to to reiterate this to people because, you know, people say, well, you know, modifying is not much. Listen, all these engines that I have, I've ran them all, okay? Stock. And most of them modded. Now, which brings me to... Um, RCR Renew Lance, I sent him those engines. The first ones he's going to be modding are the .25 Roma. Okay. 
the .23 Reds, Scuderua, the .28 Alpha, the .28 LRP, and the .30. Those five engines are going to be the first ones that he works on. Told him to take his time, so they'll probably be a few weeks. I don't, I don't want him to, uh, you know, I told him you don't have to rush on them. They're all getting drag modded. I think I've got them all with ceramic bearings, but maybe one. But they all will have ceramic bearings in them. Fully drag modded. Those will be the first five engines that I get back. The next wave that I get after that, instead of getting them all at once, will be the 21s. I've got a Reds 521, which a lot of people have been asking me about, which I'm sure will be a pretty badass engine modified because it's not too bad stock. Um, the Reds R5R Team Edition, um, the Pico V1 Team Edition, it's got the DLC coated crank and all that. And what else do I have? The Works V5. Um, we'll be getting modded uh, and in that batch and I'm getting the uh, L3 Triton L3 um, It has a race mod on it. I get told Lance. Can you get anything more out of it? He goes. Yeah, I'll put a drag mod. I'll massage it, massage it a little bit more um, And get a little bit more power out of it. So that one will be getting redone So there's ten engines that I'll be getting back in the next couple months and like I said the first five will be the bigger blocks Second five will be the point twenty one. So that's what's going on in Nitro. And we have this unboxing. So let's get all the Nitro stuff out of the way. And then we'll get into a little bit of fist scale. <coughs> I don't know where we're at on the video. <coughs> but we're getting probably around 30 minutes maybe. <laughs> There'll be some running footage. I don't know if it'll be on this video. But probably not. Because I probably won't be running anything for at least a few days. Maybe longer depending when the rain stops. So, did I cut this right? Oh, i got to cut the front. So this is something that, like I said, Gilbert, uh, the guy that he got it from raced it. I think the guy's name's Tony, he said. He races TLRs. And he had this. So it's in pretty good shape. Um, was, you know, when I seen it. But... Um, you got it when you see pictures of things you got to real it sometimes they're a little bit different from when you see them up person But anyway Without further ado, this is my new whip people are probably thinking, what another I don't even know where the hell I'm gonna put it as you guys see I'm running out of room if I get any more nitros I'm gonna have to hang them from the ceiling or something But anyway again shout out to Gilbert Monk for hooking me up like a tow truck I think he's threw in some set of race tires in it um also, shout out, big shout out to, to my boy, um, his name's Miguel, uh, you guys know him as, uh, I think it's Loco, whatever his channel is now, Loco Nitro, RC Loco, Loco, whatever, but anyway, he's the guy you've seen in my videos, last couple videos, um, he keeps pushing me to get out to the track, so I think we're going to be hitting the, who knows, the next video upload might possibly be at the track in Revelations. So, what whip I'm going to run, run, last time you guys know I ran the Techno Buggy, and I ran the Techno Truggy. This time, maybe I'll run my new Truggy, and I'll pick one of these. Uh, maybe I'll take the Cobra out, and uh, see what it's got, but I'm going to have to change it up a little bit. I think this one is set up for racing, obviously, so I might just leave it. So anyway, you guys ready for the new 8 scale Nitro Whip? What the hell are you doing, Muggy? You don't need another <laughs> Nitro. <laughs> um, there it is. Bam! What is that? Uh, I don't know. All I see is carbon fiber and blue aluminum. Well, this is the associated... I think it's the... RCB3.2 two or I don't know I, I don't know they're one of those it's the new associated truggy these are the rims and tires he gave me I gotta clean those up I don't know what is it with these racers every time I get stuff from racers they never clean their shit always excuse my language uh, these are aka grid irons I've got a few of these I think they're aka grid irons is that what they are looks like it let me see yep AK grid irons. So there's a set of those. Here's the wing. And uh, let's take a look at this bad boy. 
Whoops. I like the way, remember the guy that I had on video where he had the Adam Drake engine I broke in for him? He had the same truck. This has all the upgrades, all the goodies. It's got the carbon fiber um, servo saver. It's got aluminum A, B, C, and D block. Um, carbon fiber radio tray. Carbon fiber uh, top braces for the arms or stiffeners. It's got all the carbon fiber on the uh, lower arms and the chassis I was very shocked it has very little wear that's about a 90 I'd say a 95 or more percent uh, of the chassis still when you see that color original color worn off that means that chassis is worn to hell you can see this one's only worn a little bit in the front very little in the middle and a little bit on the back I've got sumo racing skid plates coming for this I've already ordered some stuff. I've got front and rear aluminum, blue anodized aluminum chassis braces for this. Um, and I've also got, um, what else did I get? I also got, uh, another wing. I'm going to go with the clear, um, bitty design, similar to that one that I have on the uh mp9 tk4 by the way i've got i want to run this elite 5 rcr modded so i've got it in there um the reds this is a stock i modded a light mod on it but it's basically a stock r5r um we've also obviously got the pico p3 in the mugen i've got another p3 in this one oh yeah i almost forgot we have the rb modded 28.8 rex legend in the muggy so that's going to be the next engine like i told you guys that we're going to run in there uh i think i'm going to run this reds 2143 with an overall c41032 header um and then this one has my favorite and baddest engine that i own um big block the rcr modded 288 rex legend is in the techno so still got to work on that got to get that thing going again i can't it's been said this has been sitting the longest besides the sh we're going to run that again too maybe we'll take that track and just beat the hell out of it i don't care but anyway so yeah um i like these associated they're very similar to a mugen that's why i haven't got one but i couldn't you know i mean gilbert like i said hooked me up so i was like what the hell i have another truggy coming um probably in a couple weeks Hopefully it's coming from going to be coming from Canada, but I'm not sure on it yet um, So but yeah, this thing has all the aluminum goodies. Um, I believe it's got all avid Bearings in it from what I see it doesn't have stock bearings in it um, The shock towers are aluminum, which is fine um, I know Fox has some kind of deal with associated you guys have those of you to know about associated Fox makes a whole kit It's kind of pricey but it's probably the best. They make a whole kit for uh, the um, these associated. So one, a lot of things that I check for when I buy a used whip or when I get a used whip is the drive cups, uh, inner and outer. I mean, outer drive cups. And then the, the inside of here, I check in here, make sure they're not all rusted. Um, this thing is very very clean. Like I said, he said that he didn't run it that much. He only raced it a couple times um, So again shout out to Gilbert. Thank you, sir for hooking me up with a new truggy So we're gonna get this thing Obviously, you know how I roll tearing it down putting it going through everything diffs everything re-grease re-lube if nuts and bolts seem to be polished that's going to be done too so anyway that's nitro that's what's going on in nitro um now fit scale so i talked to mike again uh where's my phone i talked to mike taylor and i hit him up about the new those of you know or don't know there's a new um where's mike at i have him i have a lot of people on my messenger okay here he is mike taylor so those of you you know you gotta show proof because people oh yeah how do we know 
Well, there you go. See that? Mike Taylor. Um, he's on my messenger. So when I asked Mike about the new Taylor 35, um, he asked for my channel and then I sent him some video. Uh, I asked him, will that new, because he's coming out with a, a Taylor 35. It's supposed to be pretty badass. If you guys haven't seen the video yet, um, where is it at? Somebody... Maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll put it in the beginning of this um, video so you can see a, a shot of it. It looks pretty sick. And I asked him, I said, would it fit, uh, how, would it fit okay inside of my, um, my King Motors Baja? He said, yeah, it would be sick, man. It would fit perfect. I said, I asked him about the weight. Um, he said, all details will be coming soon. And then he said, that's a sweet spot <laughs> that I used to run at. As you guys know, I can't run there anymore. because Oh, I guess I could, but they chased me out. So anyway, 35 Taylor. It's supposed to be like to shake up the, the small block world as far as the OBR. I don't know though. This thing, this OBR 34 signature series, read case, fully modded, balanced and machine, lightweight crank, the whole thing this is a bad you guys have seen it plenty of times this thing is a bad to the freaking core okay now if i put a 30 that 35 taylor in here he said that this thing's going to be just it's going to be a wheelie monster <laughs> it'll probably be flipping around all the time because you know these bajas when they do wheelies they flip and cartwheel and stuff so but anyway we're going to run this 30.5 one more time um i have i'm waiting on a new gearing uh, stock gearing on these things, I believe, are 1758. Uh, shout out to another person, Jason, I think it's McHenry, Jersey Jason, or whatever they, his channel is. He uh, mentioned, because this thing runs out of gear, quick, to throw a, I think it's a 5558. He sent, he sent me a, a, a 5558 gear setting, uh, gearing. Um, but I went ahead and ordered the, uh, because I think the ones he's sending are pla the spur is plastic. Uh, they're okay, but I'd rather run the metals, metal ones. Also, um, when that 35 comes out, now I'm still not sure if I'm going to go with the 35 yet. So it's not in, in stone. I might possibly put another OBR, but I'd like to have tried that 35. It all depends on the pricing on it. If it's really, really expensive. You know, which, you know, tailors, you're paying, it is quality, but still, I mean, um, it all depends. I'm going to go ahead and, I've already got it uh, lined up. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger on a RC Max um, rear aluminum diff housing. Oops. Rear aluminum diff housing. And I'm going to throw in the RC Max uh, or Taylor or RC Max, whatever, titanium lay shaft and then i'm going to throw uh black bone gears so we'll do rc max um rc max titanium lay shaft rc max billet aluminum diff housing um and black bone gears and then i'm going to try they have a new black bone if you guys haven't seen it go look at detroit performance black bone 10,000 uh spring clutch steel clutch it's a whole kit it's the whole thing instead of buying separate pieces it's the whole thing i think it's about 50 60 bucks it's pretty inexpensive um or i could just order another ufc setup um from europe that's where they come from rc max carries them they're about 75 or 80 bucks but still maybe i'll try out that new blackbone um steel clutch deal with the 10,000 spring so it's all the whole thing included um, but we're gonna probably run this engine one more time um, and I might send it to Wade at uh, ESP customs um, recommended by a few guys um, recommended that I send this 30.5 he doesn't charge a lot mod it see what it does um, if I still don't feel that you know it's that much you know enough for me because i after this I'm, I'm measuring everything as far as small blocks on this engine so we'll just go ahead and 
replace the whole engine but i want to get as much out of this this 30.5 instead of like most people where you you get them and you get another one and you just waste it i want to use it as much as i can blow it up whatever like dan said at obr so anyway that's what's going on with fifth scale uh oh biggest thing in fifth scale right now oops is ddm finally got the five b's people five b's are in stock get you one i'm getting me another one okay the five b may not this may be the last hurrah or the last whatever you want to call it the last round steve at ddm has a lot of them so they'll probably be throughout next year at least hopefully depends on how, how fast they sell but i'm i know he has a lot of them so he said don't worry about not being able to get one they're one up price instead of 750 they're 800 but still for a race kit that you build only one available out there on the market fifth scale that you can build um race kit is the 5b okay yes there's the mcds like i said they're really expensive and they're already put together they're all rtrs every fifth scale out there is an rtr that's already built but this one is the only one that you build that i know of unless you can find another one this is the only one that i know of and you know like i've always said in a scale nitro there's nothing wrong with rtrs for the most part but if you just want to skip all that and go straight you know like i got to give a shout out to my boy miguel uh nitro loco because he didn't just start out with an rtr he went from traxxas which was obviously garbage um which reminds me i have a traxxas vehicle in my closet i'm not going to show you guys that i might put in the next video or coming up and we're going to have a special pro uh we'll just say it's going to be a special video <laughs> some of you already know what i have plans for it but anyway um i've had it for a long time it was given to me by one of my customers um it had a little issue with the engine but i think it's fixable uh maybe we might run it for shits and giggles maybe we might send it to the moon maybe we might run it into a brick wall maybe we might blow it up maybe we might uh, you know set it on fire <laughs> who knows you know me i really don't like Traxxas for the most part because they're just garbage. Now, does it mean that if you own a Traxxas that, that you're a bad person or that you're you're not worthy of being in the whatever club? Doesn't mean that. I, I don't know why people insinuate or, or think that because I don't like Traxxas or because I don't like you know RTRs that if you don't have what I have that you, that's I don't know. I I don't. Whatever makes you happy, whatever floats your boat. If you love Traxxas, Traxxas makes you smile. You have fun with Traxxas. Hey, Traxxas out, man. They're just no quality. And I just, they're headaches. And I've wrenched on plenty of them. So I, I don't want to even get into the rant, to ranting about Traxxas. But anyway, there is a special Traxxas in there. It is a T-Max. I'll tell you, I call it T-Bag in my closet right now. And I, I just was messing with it the other night. And yeah, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to have something special for that baby. So a lot of you guys, like I said, already know. But anyway, that's what's going on with fifth scale. I'm going to probably do a project with the 5B. I'm not going to build another buggy like this because this one is it. It's like the ultimate race buggy. If you notice the tires on it, it's because this thing is going to be soon getting to a track. Uh, whether it's local or it might have to go distance. But um, this just to say that we're going to try. We're going to finally run this thing on a racetrack i don't know if it's going to be a fifth scale racetrack or a or a wide eight scale but we will run it like i told you guys i want to run this is what this thing was built for yes you can bash them they're badass bashers uh i disagree totally with woogie um these no matter what you do to them you're always going to be wrenching on them because they're, they're just it doesn't matter what you put on this thing you can put a, this whole thing could be taylor rc turtle racing uh you know all the top nut stuff and it's still the dna of the baja is not of the best quality okay and it's two-wheel drive it's got all the load going to one rear end bigger engines you put in it more power you put in it no matter what you're going to have more issues especially if you're bashing drag racing i don't know because i don't drag race different story all i know is from what jason told me in drag racing they they bust 10,000 cl rpm clutches all the time so <laughs> this thing very little issues very little headaches 
always reliable, especially with this engine, most reliable engine that I've ever seen, not just because I have one, but all the videos and all the people I know that own these things will tell you the same thing. These OBR 34 read cases may not be as powerful as the 40s and the 50s and all that, but as far as reliability, and you can jump this thing, you can send this thing, you can bash it, you can race it, that's why I love it. It's the most versatile fit scale you will ever own. Okay? So, anyway, that's, you know, a, a project that I got. I told some guys what I'm going to do. And I'll tell you guys right now. I'll let the cat out of the bag. I want to build a 5B short course, which means this thing will have 5T arms. So, it'll have longer arms. Obviously, longer turnbuckles, front and rear. Longer drive shafts, obviously. Um, I won't need to change the... the the center and the rear drive shafts, okay, because the chassis is not changing. And then the same on the rear arms. Longer rear arms, longer uh, turnbuckles, and longer rear drive shafts. So this thing will be wide like a 5T, okay, but it will be short. So it will be a short course. And I'll be able to put, Graffiti makes a badass looking short course body that goes over it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put a bigger engine in it. Some guys say you could probably run a 40 in it, but the pipe will be the issue. So if I can, maybe I, instead of putting the third, maybe mod this thing and the modding's okay and this thing's just a basher, you know, fun ripper that, you know, is not heavy as a tank because of all the aluminum that I don't have to worry about, you know, having issues all the time like other people do. I can get and build another 5B short course, like I just mentioned, with that body and then throw the 35 Taylor because it should have the same type of pipe uh, like the small bore pipes like the Olamad or the Bartolone and put that in the short course. I think that would be sick. So imagine this but a, a short course truck with a 35 Taylor in it all built. It'll probably run me another three or 4,000. <laughs> I, I already know. If I'm going to build anything close to that I'll be spending another three or four grand. So anyway, that's what's going on. That's what's going on uh, in the muggy world, so to speak. We're going to get to this thing. I don't know what engine. One of those modded engines that I'm getting back. Probably will. I uh, probably am thinking I'll either throw the .25 uh, Roma modified in here. Or the .23 Reds modified in here. Okay, don't know if I'm really going to put a 21 in there. Hey, this suspension is pretty pretty smooth he's got it set up like i said the guy that owned this race so uh, it's uh in very good shape again shout out to gilbert for hooking me up with this new associated chuggy um this is a new adventure for me because i've never owned the newer associated chuggies the old school ones yes back in the days back in the day years ago <laughs> i had i just had to do that <laughs> That shit's funny. Anyway, that's all the muggies got. See you guys on the next video. Hopefully there'll be a running video. Everybody have a safe, happy new year. Um, travel safe if you guys are traveling. The weather is really messed up everywhere. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. So that's about it. Muggies out. Peace.